I'm Sophie. And I'm Zach, and this is the seventh lesson, and welcome to class. For today's topic is World Languages for General English B1. Mogesalmebit. Ketili gost kweni da bruneba chwens teleskolashi. Me sopoar eski zagia. Dreondeli chweni ga ketili stema soplio enebi. Kwenu urept zogad inglisurs done B1. And for today's agenda, of course, we start with the vocabulary, and then we roll right along to the reading comprehension. And right in the middle, we have the grammar, and lastly, we have the summing up and homework, our favorite part. We draw short gagotils like a daudet, modit ertet, nahot dreondeli dris gegma. Dreondel dress thou it's rept, a lexic is just solid, amisham dekt awikit hot decks. Amas Mohoba grammatical is our Jeshobi, Sham de Grogots old with air touch show a jam of Treondel Cacotils, da dagam should have a bit, Sashina Dawalebit. Shall we start? Let's start. Zach, how many languages do you speak? Oh, I speak a few. So okay. I studied German and Norwegian, and of course I, I know English, and now I'm learning Georgian because I'm in Georgia. Oh, that's great. How about you? Well, I also uh, speak a few. I speak um, Georgian because it's in my mother tongue. I also speak English, surprising, I know. <laughs> I used to study French. I speak Russian and I also used to study a little bit of Spanish. Oh, Very little. <laughs> so many. <laughs> right. So, for today, our vocabulary is a little different than usual. So. We will find the nationalities and languages for the given countries. So first we have the country, then we have the nationality, and then the languages of that country. Dreondeli chweni gakwatilis lexika odnav ganskhoebuli ikneba. Dres chwen shevisstavlit kvegnebs, erovnebebs da enebs. Tkvens ina shemotsemulia kvegnebi, chwen ertad unda vipovot, motsemuli erovnebebi da enebi. Shall we start? Let's start. So, our first country have, we have is Brazil. And so, Sophie, what do you think the nationality of Brazil is? I think I know this one. Uh, for Brazil, we have Brazilian. And the language is the most important and interesting part in here, right? Because the language Brazilian people speak is not Brazilian at all. It's Portuguese. It's definitely Portuguese. <laughs> Awesome. And our next country is Austria. And what do you think the nationality of Austria is? Definitely not Australian. It's Austrian. And the language they speak must be German. Totally right. Great job. And the next we have Japan. And the nationality will be? It should be Japanese. This is an easy one. Well, very true. And the language? Oh, it's also Japanese. Japan, Japanese, Japanese. And the next one is a bit difficult. It's Netherlands. And a nationality is... It is Dutch. <laughs> yes. And the language is... And it's also Dutch language. Very good. Our next country is Switzerland. The nationality for Switzerland will be... It should be Swiss. And language or languages, should I say? Oh, they have four official languages. They have Romansh, they have German, they have French, and they have Italian. Very true. And the next uh, country we have is Canada. And what do you think the nationality is there? I think it's Canadian. It's Canadian. And as for the languages, they also have more than one. They have English and French. They as, definitely do. Yes. And the last one is Egypt, and the nationality would be... Egyptian. And the language? And the language is Arabic, not Egyptian. <laughs> Definitely not. So now we have our vocabulary section, and these are the vocabulary words that we are going to talk about in today's lesson. So, our first word is a noun, and it is mother tongue. And mother tongue is your first language that you grow up with. Uh, Zach, what is your mother tongue? Oh, my mother tongue is English. And mine is Georgian. Mother tongue in Georgian means shobliuri ena. Mother tongue, shobliuri ena. Mother tongue, shobliuri ena. Mother tongue, 
Shobliuri Ena. Our next word is foreign language. Foreign language is a noun and in English it means and a foreign language in English is a non-official language of your country. Um, so can we say that you speak many foreign languages, Zach? Sure. Yeah. It, it was French, it was... It was German, yeah. it was Norwegian and Georgian. Very true. So foreign language in Georgian means utsho ena. Foreign language, utsho ena. Foreign language, utsho ena. Foreign, foreign language, language utsho ena. And our next word is dialect, and it is a noun, and in English, it is a different form of a language that is used in different regions or places. Dialect in Georgian means dialecti. Dialect, dialecti. Dialect, dialecti. Dialect, dialecti. And next we have accent, and it is a noun, and in English it is when you speak your language or a certain language in a particular uh, way or with certain pronunciations. So, uh, Zach, uh, uh, can we say that you have American accent because sure. you're from US, right? Yeah. And there we can also say that uh, there is a British accent, Australian accent, and so on and so forth, totally. right? Totally, yes. Accent in Georgian means accenti. Accent, accenti. Accent, accenti, accent, accenti. And next we have pronunciation, which is a noun. And in English, it means the way that you say a certain word or a sentence in a language. Pronunciation in Georgian means tsarmotkma. Pronunciation, tsarmotkma. Pronunciation, tsarmotkma. Pronunciation, tsarmotkma. Our next word is fluency. Fluency in Georgian means enis srulhopilad ploba. Fluency enis srulhopilad ploba. Fluency enis srulhopilad ploba. Fluency enis srulhopilad ploba. So now let's move on to our first vocabulary activity where we will choose the correct answer. Ahlaki gadawitet lexikis pirol davalebaze, am davalebistwis chuen irtad avirchevt stor pasuhebs. So, number one, Sophie, the main language that you learn when you are a child is your what do you think it is? I think we already discussed this one when we said that my um, main language is Georgian and yours was English. So, I think that uh, the answer here would be mother tongue, not a dialect. You're totally right. Great job. And number two, a way of saying words that shows what country, region, or social class someone comes from is called? I think it's the way we speak, the way we pronounce certain words, um, or the words that we use. Um, it's probably the accent. Yeah, it's definitely the accent. Great job. And our next sentence is the ability to speak a language very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I speak English fluently, so it should be fluency. You are absolutely right. The right answer is fluency. And next, number four, Sophie. George speaks many... What do you think he speaks many of? For this one, we should choose foreign languages. Yeah, good. And next, it is difficult to learn the blank of certain Georgian words. What do you think that could be? I think that's definitely pronunciation. <laughs> you should know more about this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of problem with the pronunciation. <laughs> and our last sentence is, English is a for many people born in England. So we have two choices, mother tongue or pronunciation again. So what do you think? And of course, your mother tongue is Georgian and mine is English, so it is mother tongue. Definitely, mother tongue is the right choice. So, Zach, uh, what language would you like to learn in the future? Ooh, there's many. I really want to learn Spanish. Okay. And maybe French as well. Yeah, eventually. it's a very nice yeah. language to learn. How about you? Well, since I already know a little bit of French, I would like to learn it properly, so I'm fluent in it. Oh, <laughs> enough, yeah. 
So let's move on to the reading comprehension. And we have a couple of uh, texts for you about languages in general. So the first one is called A Language Biography. So her name is Anna and she is from Georgia. Apart from Georgian, Anna speaks English. She was six years old when she first started learning this language. She started with listening to and singing lots of songs in English. She also read a lot of English stories and played some games in English. That time she did not practice grammar much. Now she's concentrated on vocabulary and speaking activities more. Now she is already a secondary school student. She started learning grammar, which helps her speak more accurately. She also studies vocabulary by creating a list, finding definitions, and creating stories using new words. Anna tries to increase her vocabulary by reading books in English. Anna has got a lot of homework that she does outside of school. She is often asked to read and write a summary of different stories. Anna likes watching English language TV programs. When she was 10 years old, she went to London for a holiday. When she was there, she made a lot of friends who helped her improve her accent. Anna wants to travel to the UK more. She enjoys learning English very much. Of course, she does not have fluency in speaking English language yet, as it is not her mother tongue, and she needs to improve her pronunciation, but she is trying her best to sound like a native speaker. So now let's move on to our reading comprehension exercise. So answer the questions based on the text. And our very first question is, what does Anna do to increase her vocabulary in English? So I know that Anna likes to uh, study vocabulary and then make stories using uh, the vocabulary from this list. And she also reads many books in English. Okay. Thank you very much, Zach. And our next question is, where did Anna go when she was 10 years old? So she went to London for a holiday when she was 10 years old. A great memory. And the next question, what helped her to improve her accent? So when she was there, she made a lot of good friends in London and they help or helped her improve her English. Very good. And our next question, how did she start learning English? Well, she started uh, listening and singing lots of songs in English. That's a great way to start. And our last question, what kind of homework does she do outside of school? She is often asked to read and write uh, a summary of different stories that she reads. And the very last one for now, how does grammar help her with learning the language? She started learning the grammar and that helped her start speaking more accurately. So now let's move on to our grammar section where we will discuss relative pronouns. So relative pronouns, uh, whom, who, which, whose, that, introduce relative clauses. A relative clause is a part of a sentence that cannot exist independently, begins with a relative pronoun, and describes a noun that comes before it. For example, she started learning grammar, which helps her speak more accurately. So and relative pronouns, we use who, that to refer to people. We use which, that to refer to objects or animals. For example, I know a friend who is a librarian. And the dog which that ran away in is my father's. 
چون کاموی قنبت، هو ذات میمرت بدن تو سخلبس رده سات ساوبربت آدمیان نبزه خاله. Which ذات میمرت بدن تو سخلبس رده سات ساوبربت خواه لبزه آن سگ نبزه. And who, which, that cannot be omitted if it is the subject of the relative clause. That is, when there is not a noun or subject pronoun between the relative pronoun and the verb. For example, I know a girl, she is a teacher. I know a girl who that is a teacher. The, rel the relative pronoun is a subject. Who, which, that می مرتب بیتی نه تو اساسه لبس ورگ موت آب تو این سنت آر موت گنند این داده بی سубیکت. آنو رودسات آر ارس بابس ارس بیتی ساخلی آن پیریس نه تو اساسه لی می مرتب بیت نه تو اساسه خلاصه داز نشورس. And who, which, that can be omitted when it is the object of the relative clause. That is when there is a noun or a subject, pronoun and the verb. We can use whom instead of who. When it is uh, the, the object of the relative clause, whom is not often used in everyday English. Who, which, that, mi mar tebit nats wa sakhelebi, shayt zlebarom gamov dawat, tu isi nits armuad genen, damuk itabult ina tadebashi objekts. Anu, rodesat ina tadebashi tz armuad genilia, arsebiti sakheli, piris nats wa sakheli da zmana. Chuan shaykut zliya gamov iqenot, whom, Հուս նացուատ, ռոտեսաց հում ծարմուատգենց դամուկիտ է բուլից նատատպիս ոպիեկց։ Դումցա ակվե ունդա այուղ նիշնոտ, ռոմ հում խշիրատ սասավ բրո ինգլիս որշի արգամոյի գենեպա։ Մագալիթատ, I gave the book to a man I had met him before. I gave the book to a man who, whom, that I met before. And we use whose instead of possessive adjectives, my, your, his, etc with people, objects, and animals in order to show possession. For example, that's the cat. Its owner lives next to me. That's the cat whose owner lives next to me. Չվեն գամովի գենեպտ մի մարդեպիտ նացոլ սախել հուս կութուներ լեպիտի զեցար տավի սախել ապիս մակայլ դետ մայ, յոր, հիս, դա ասեշ եմ դեկ մագի էր, թու գույնդա վաչվենոտ կութունի լեպա and we can use which to refer to a whole clause. He lent me his book, this was uh, generous of him. He lent me his book, which was generous of him. Չույն շագույց լիակամովի գենոտ մի մարդաբետի նացոլ սախելի which, ռոտեսեց գույնդա մի վութիթոտ թելից ինադադեպա։ And a relative pronoun is not used with another pronoun. I, you, me, him, etc. Uh, know a girl who works as a teacher. Not I know a girl who works as a teacher. Մի մարդաբիտի նացոլ սախելաբի արգամույի գենեպա սխլա նացոլ սախելաբթան էրթատ։ Մոտ իտախլա էրթատ շավաճամոտ մի մարդաբիտի նացոլ սախելաբիս գամու գենեպա։ Հոգործ տկիտ, who դա ձետ մի մարդեպա ադամիանեպս, Հու հում ձեց ասավը մի է մարդեպա ադամիանեպս, ռոտեսաց իսինից արմուատ գնեն դամուկ իտեպուլց ինադադեպաշի ուբիեկց, շեից լեպա մատի գամոտավայպած ինադադեպիտան։ Ուչ դա դեց մի է մարդեպա սագնեպս ան ծխովելեպս, Ախլակի կադավույդ էտ գրամատիկի սավարջիշոս է։ Ամ սավարջիշոս տվիշ չվեն ունդա չավուսվատ գամոտով բուլատ գիլեպշի շեմդեկի սիտխոբի։ Հու, ուչ, ան վետ, ան հուս։ Սո, Սովի, what is the name of the woman blank became the first female prime minister of Britain? I think we need here who. What is the name of the woman who became the first female prime minister of Britain? Fantastic. And what is the name of the artist blank most famous painting is the scream. So I think because this word should show some possession, it should be the word whose. What is the name of the artist whose most famous painting uh, is the scream. And next, what is the name of the river blank flows through Tbilisi. What is the name of the river which or that flows through Tbilisi? Great. And what is the name of the actor blank 
played in the film Harry Potter. What is the name of the actor who played in the film Harry Potter? And for this one, what is the animal blank has a long neck? What is an animal that has a long neck? So now let's go over the summary of today's lesson. So for today, we had the vocabulary and today was a little bit different. So first we talked about the countries the and nat nationalities and the languages of those countries. Do you remember which countries we've discussed? Oh, we discussed like Brazil. True. What was the language for that one? Oh, the language was Portuguese. You're absolutely right. We had also Netherlands. Yes. And what was the nationality of Netherlands? It was Dutch. Oh, correct. As well as the language. Oh, perfectly right. And we also had Japan. It was Japanese, Japanese. That yeah. was a bit easier, no, I think. A nice, easy one. Yeah. And we also had Austria. True, Austrian and German. And what was the most difficult one? Oh, I think it was probably Switzerland. You're absolutely right, because they have four instead of one. Exactly. I remember their nationality is Swiss, but what was the languages? I think the languages were Romansh, we had Italian, we had French and German. Exactly right. Great job. And then we also had our vocabulary words where we discussed things about language in general, like fluency, accent, and mother tongue, and foreign languages, and dialect. Dialects. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and a couple others. And, and, and then we uh, uh, read a text about um, how Anna learned English. So I think that you can also use some of these strategies that Anna used for her learning experience. I think you're definitely right. Like reading in books in English, yes. practicing grammar, watching English TV shows, definitely, <laughs> and making lists of words so you learn new words to maybe even make stories like Anna. Very true. And finally, we talked about grammar, about relative pronouns. We did. And now it's time to move to everyone's favorite, homework. We want you to write a short paragraph about how you learn languages in your country. Sashinao tawalebat chwen gwinda rom dazerot mokle abzatsi da aghzerot rogor stavlobt enebs tkvens kveganashi. And please send your homework to the address on the screen. Tu sheleba gamu aghzavnet tkveni tawalebebi ekranze motsemu misamartze. And I think that's all we have time for today. Absolutely right. We forgot to say that they will see the sample of the homework on the address. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.